Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays outside the Pilates studio, where we get out into the real world to explore the mind-body lifestyle. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Goyer, and today I want to talk to you all about the four stages of learning and how it relates to your Pilates practice and how working through these stages helps your body turn a new skill into an old habit. Um, I was first exposed to this idea actually through my martial arts training. Um, it was pretty cool. I learned about how you know a normal person walking around has no self-defense skills and so they're in what's called the stage of unconscious incompetence, which is where you're not very good at something and you don't realize that you're not very good at it. Um, in the Pilates world, that's what we see every day when we walk around and we see people in their compensation patterns, their postures, their old injuries that are bothering them for a long time, they're kind of living here. Um, now us as Pilates teachers and students, we've all at least reached this phase, the conscious incompetence, right? We're still not doing everything as well as we want, but we're aware of it, we realize it's a problem, and we are motivated and driven to do something about it. Then, here's the really cool part. The conscious competence phase is when we actively choose to do something differently. Every time we take Pilates class or we practice on our own, we are living in this phase of conscious competence. We're teaching ourselves how to find neutral spine, how to activate the transverse abdominals and the multifidus, how to break our habits of computer posture. Um, that is the conscious competence phase. And then the last phase is called unconscious competence, which is basically where you've established a good habit and you can use it all the time without having to think about it so much. And making the jump from here to here takes a lot of time and a lot of work, but identifying that you're already on the third phase of learning a new skill can be really helpful and can help us re remember how important it is to do this work, to go to class and practice on our own so that we can start having some of the unconscious competence that we want for our bodies and for our lives. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.